All right, guys, so I'm gonna dethatch today, and the reason why is pretty simple. Over here, it's not too bad. There's a little bit of uh, dead blades in here. But over on this side, there's quite a bit more, and I just did a test pass, and you'll see the big pile of gunk that's down there. So here's the path I went. Look how much is in there. So this is one of those things where technically it's not necessary, but it will make the grass look a whole lot better, uh, a whole lot quicker. Uh, technically speaking, this isn't thatch. This is just uh, some dead grass blades. Uh, Kentucky bluegrass especially will um, shed in the fall time all the dead blades. And so I'm just trying to clean it up, make it look nice. Um, so if you don't have access to a, a dethatcher, don't freak out. But if you do, or you don't mind renting one or buying one of those electric units or whatnot, um, I actually like doing it. There's, there's a bunch of debate about it, but uh, I look at it this way. I dethatch my lawn, it looks better. So I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna be using a Swordman. Um, it's got a dethatching attachment, so if you have a Swordman, I would definitely recommend a dethatcher, and I'll show you what's awesome about it. All right, so the little example I did out there that made that pile, that's how most dethatchers work. They just fling it out, and you gotta go rake it up, mow it up, or whatnot. But the Swordman, you can put the grass catcher on, and it will throw all the thatch and gunk into that, which makes it a whole lot easier to clean up after. All right, so one question you'll definitely have is how far down you want it to go. With the Swordman, you can make it go super deep or tall. Now, what I do is I adjust it based on what I'm seeing. Um, so I just did it at two inches. I got a tiny bit of stuff up so it didn't look like it was deep enough for me. Um, I brought it down to one fourth an inch and it looked like it was getting a lot more dirt and the crowns of the, the grass, so you don't want that. So I'm probably gonna do it about here, which is a nice happy medium. So you're pulling up some of the dead stuff, but you're not uh, going too deep. And uh, yeah, that's a nice feature. Now, if you're using one of the ones that you attach to your riding mower, you probably don't have that control, um, which is fine. Um, you'll probably have to go over a few times because it's not powered the same as this. This, because it's spinning, it, it pulls up a lot more stuff quicker. Um, so the adjustment is pretty nice to have. Oh, and I'll probably change the height on the edges where it's pretty much all dead.
All right, now I'm gonna put the Honda to use and give it a buzz cut with the fresh cut blades or freshly sharpened blades and bag it. Now it's time to do some more fertilizing. I'm gonna be using the same 14, 14, 14 because my soil test said to use a balance ratio. Um, so that's what I'm going with and I'm gonna put it down a little bit heavier than the last time. So what I need to do is put down in my notes, that spreader can effectively do the whole uh, side yard in one pass, which is pretty cool. It's a big time saver. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna go do the other section. Bump. But I'm not gonna video that because it's all the same steps. All right, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, comment all that fun stuff it's what makes this uh, really enjoyable and fun making all these videos and uh, be sure to check out the ones below have a great day bye